Welcome to Geek Sellers Joint Webinar with Walmart Canada. I'm James, the Enterprise Account Manager here at Geek Seller. I'm joined by Daniel, Geek Sellers co-founder, who's available to answer any questions that you may have about Geek Seller via the Q&A. We have some guest speakers with us today from Walmart Canada. They'll be going over the Ship with Walmart program, as well as an explanation on what makes Walmart Canada a great option for those sellers looking to expand internationally. The guest speakers are Shmirti Gupta, Associate Manager with Walmart Canada, Janet Cameron, Business Manager with Walmart Canada, Tracy Cordova, Senior Manager, and Ernesto Solis, the Senior Manager with Walmart Canada. So let's get started with Shmirti, off to you. Thank you, James. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope all of you and your loved ones are keeping safe in these tough times. Uh, thank you for taking the time today to attend this webinar and thanks to the Geek Seller team for hosting this event. Uh, I hope that all of you find today's session useful and will be excited about selling on Walmart Canada Marketplace. Uh, my name is Smriti and I'm the Associate Manager for Business Development for our Marketplace. Uh, the objective of today's session is to provide you an, uh, to provide you an introduction about our, our platform, speak about our growth story and showcase to you some exciting opportunities to promote your products. Then we will talk about Ship with Walmart, a shipping program designed for US-based sellers shipping to Canada. And we will end with Geek Sellers sharing information about their platform and how easy they have made it to use Ship with Walmart to ship to Canada. And James has already mentioned it, but, but please feel free to share any questions in the chat window and we will be happy to answer them as we move along. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, Walmart Canada Marketplace was launched only three years ago but we have been seeing tremendous growth. In fact, our GMB is growing at 400% year on year, thanks to all of our amazing seller partners like yourselves. As per Comcore, Walmart Canada received 80 million visits during May and June this year, from more than a third of Canadians shopping online. But there is a lot of unserved demand. More than 30% of Canadian demand goes to US websites because of either lack of assortment or expensive pricing. Programs like Ship with Walmart will help you offer products at cheaper prices to Canadian customers. Now, an average Canadian lives within eight minutes of a Walmart store. They are used to shopping from Walmart, and we are now leveraging that reach by offering millions of items through our online marketplace. In a sense, we are providing true omni-channel convenience to our customers. They can buy online and pick up or return an item in a Walmart store closest to them. Next slide, please. For those of you thinking about the Walmart customer segment, it's actually quite similar to what you might encounter at any other marketplace like say Amazon. And it's quite different from our typical brick and mortar customer. Our largest customer segment in terms of age is millennials, young e-com savvy customers looking for exciting new brands and products. A majority of our online customers fall in the high income bracket. 55% of our customers have family with kids looking for complete household needs. What does all this mean? This shows that there is a scope for a variety of seller partners having different assortments which suits the needs of different kinds of customers. You bring these customers, you bring those products, and we will build a great business together. Next slide, please. Walmart Canada is a closed curated marketplace. This helps us to create a platform which is trusted by all stakeholders. It's a virtuous cycle, which is built by ensuring that we only sell products from trusted reputed sellers. We follow a vetting process to ensure that fake products are not sold on the platform. Customers trust the products being sold on the marketplace, which helps deliver the 400% sales growth that we have seen this year. This growth brings in more sellers and customers, which fuels the growth cycle. The key takeaway being, you will be in very good company on Walmart Marketplace. Next slide, please. So what are the qualifications for becoming a seller on Walmart Canada Marketplace? Sellers should have prior e-commerce experience across other marketplaces or over their own web stores. They should have an exciting catalog with good product ratings at competitive prices. A Canadian warehouse or a registered company is not a mandatory requirement. And this is really helpful for a lot of our international seller partners. Sellers, however, do need to register with Canadian authorities and obtain a business number, which is simple, convenient, and fast online process. To get started, you can submit your application with all of your information over the link, which we will share with you shortly. For those of you who are already our partners on Walmart US, the process of onboarding is extremely simple. You will still need to fill in the application over the link, but the onboarding process will be very similar to what you're already familiar with, 
and the vetting of your application will be relatively faster. Next slide, please. And here is our fee structure. We charge a commission for every transaction as per the category schedule that's shown here. We do not charge any other fee. There is no item set of fee, no listing or monthly fee and no other hidden charges. Ultimately, we want to make sure that it is convenient and extremely simple for you to sell on our marketplace and make sure that you're able to provide your wide assortment of products at the best prices to our customers. Next slide, please. And finally, here we have compiled some of the questions that were more, most frequently asked by you. So let's go through these. First one, how can I be a seller with Walmart Canada Marketplace? So please send in your application using this link and our team will review the information and reach out with the next steps. Second question, I'm already a seller on Walmart US. Can I automatically start selling on Walmart Canada? Will the seller center accounts be the same? So while the vetting process will be faster and onboarding process will be familiar, we will require you to submit the application using the above link. The two seller center accounts will also be different. And hence we request you to apply using a different email ID than your Walmart US account to avoid errors. Third question, do we need to have content in English and French? So while you can go live on the platform with English content, we expect that within three months, you will have French content uploaded as required under the applicable law. Fourth question, how can I apply for the Canadian business number? So you can apply for the business number as a non-resident importer on the CRA website uh, as shown here. Fifth question, what kind of fee would I incur while selling with Walmart Canada Marketplace? So as mentioned in the last slide, we only charge a referral fee for the products that are sold according to the category. We do not charge any listing setup or subscription fee and there are no hidden charges. And with that, I will hand over to Janet who will speak about promotional and marketing opportunities available with us. Over to Janet. Janet, you're on mute. Thanks. I appreciate that, Tracy. Thanks, Shmriti. I think it goes without saying that uh, joining Walmart Canada is the right decision uh, for sellers expanding into the Canadian market. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Janet Cameron, and I am from the Key Account Management Team, and I have the pleasure of working with the most talented group of e-commerce professionals. Our Walmart Canada Marketplace embodies our brand promise to help customers live better by saving money and, of course, time. As Canada's most trusted marketplace, we work to guide customers to the products and brands they're looking for. Now, for, that, for us, that works by adding seller partners like you to our platform. That's step one. Today, I'll be sharing how collaboration across multiple teams surface products that thrill and delight Canadians. So, let's get started. Once you've been approved by Schmidt's team, successfully navigated onboarding in record time, and your storefront is made live on the number one retail platform in Canada. Millions of customers are, of course, on walmart.ca looking for products to add to their cart. Now what? Next page, please. I'd like to start. Next slide, please. Thank you. I'd like to start by boldly stating that walmart.ca is the platform to sell products in Canada, period. Combined with an extremely agile key account management team, laser focused on three KPIs, our customers, seller growth and product visibility, uh, gold campaigns is where products convert. These campaigns, um, these campaigns include all retail channels in Walmart Canada with the homepage acting as a doorway for, doorway for customers to buy the products they're searching for. A truly seller driven ecosystem I'm proud, of our seller, I'm proud of our seller engagement, which has played a, a part in pivoting our go-to-market creative. As you can see by our bold safe stories, inclusion in our gold campaigns is based on campaign KPIs, and as shown in the box on the left, focus on celebrating hot deals and daily features during key events such as Black Friday, on official holidays like Father's Day, trend seasonality, and as and as a bilingual country, meeting our customers where they are by ensuring French and English in all marketing, such as deals of the week. There are hundreds of campaigns and events throughout the year available to sh showcase the exciting brands and offers you'll be surfacing. Now, our global and dare I say exclusive events cover not only events celebrated in Canada, such as Family Day, but others from across the globe. To optimize traffic, we've created marketplace-only events. Now this past summer's best of summer event and upcoming singles week celebration are examples of marketplace driven events for Walmart Canada marketplace sellers. Inclusion in these and like events is based on campaign KPIs. And while all offers are reviewed, we want some events, 
curated to ensure that based on the theme of what we're trying to, to, to kind of communicate to our customers, that we ensure that we're surfacing what they're looking for. Next slide, please. Another exclusive for Canadian sellers is daily deals, located in our deals hub. Now this is access from several locations throughout our platform, including our homepage and daily deals uh, and, and daily email blasts. Our recently launched daily deals is open to all partners that have a capability to serve up unbelievable offers to excite and delight for a 24 hour period starting at midnight. Now, while supported by email blast, app notification, and some other secret sauce, this is a conversion activation unlike any other. The seller carousel shown on the bottom left help boost conversion in your storefront with a customized curated carousel. The products in the carousel are shown on the category page tile, and this is the page where customers shop for products like, uh, for example, in categories like toys, tires, shoes, and allow customers to do a one-stop shop in your store. On the right side of the slide, our email blasts will showcase brands and products on walmart.ca with captivating imagery and copy, along with a monthly dedicated email blast featuring only marketplace sellers and products. This marketplace, um, marketplace is featured on all email blasts in some way. Now as shown on the, on the screen, there are multiple modules that are used to feature a variety of products directing millions, yes, multi-millions of customers to walmart.ca to make a purchase. Now with a few qualifiers, as noted in the bottom right, you'll see that actually is a, a seller partner um, where we featured their storefront. And right now, we occasionally enhance the emails by doing that uh, for based on seasonality and obviously the partner engagement. And they go right to your store, click and shop which is a fantastic feature and only uh, exclusively shown for Walmart uh, marketplace sellers. Next slide, please. Now, allowing customers to shop where and when they want is the key to success in our space. If we're together uh, in one space, I'm sure I would see most of you nodding in agreement. All our campaigns are served up for desktop, mobile, and our .ca app as shown on the left of this slide. Lastly, I'd like to speak to you and introduce you to the number one conversion driver for marketplace sellers. Deals of the week, or DOTW as we like to call it in-house, is another marketplace exclusive supported with all marketing streams. The Deals of the Week is open to all sellers in our ecosystem. And although we highlight safe stories such as the 20%, 50%, um, along with key category tiles, the only qualifier to participate is that you showcase a safe story highlighted by the reduced price badge. Now, the safe percentage is with your retail is your choice. Our awesome CAM team is here to assist, and I encourage you to participate in Deals of the Week up on launch. Thank you for your, your attention and time. My name is Janet Cameron, and I look forward to meeting you and driving your products on the number one retail, most trusted marketplace in Canada. Over to you, Tracy. Thank you, Smirti and Janet, for that overview. Hi, everyone. My name is Tracy Cordova, and I work as part of the Walmart International's Marketplace Development Seller Services team. My teammate, Ernesto Solis, and I are excited to share with you information about Ship with Walmart. International shipping is one of the consistent pain points that we hear from sellers when beginning to sell in an international market. So Ship with Walmart was designed, built, and managed with the focus to make it easier for cross-border sellers to ship product from the U.S. into marketplaces such as Canada. Sellers are able to utilize affordable shipping rates that have been negotiated by Walmart to help sellers ship cross-border. Currently, there are two carriers, FedEx and Purelater, utilized for Ship with Walmart. Purelater is a very experienced carrier in Canada with an extensive network, as well as FedEx. Aspects of Ship with Walmart that help remove barriers from shipping cross-border pertain to downloading of a seller's catalog and providing a duty and tax report, which provides an estimated total cost of the products to ship to Canada. As part of Ship with Walmart, classification of a seller's catalog is included. A key distinguishing factor with the Ship with Walmart offerings is the service type. Ship with Walmart Express is a door-to-door -door solution and Ship with Walmart Ground is a hub-to-door solution meaning that the seller is responsible for the first leg of delivery of getting the shipments to one of Purelater's hubs. Express service levels range from two to five days and ground is two to eight days, depending upon the hub utilized. 
For ground, though, keep in mind that this is two to eight days once the shipments arrive at the hub, and it doesn't include the first mile of the seller's shipping to the hub. Weekday pickup is available during as part of the, the express offering. However, there is a charge for Saturday and Sunday pickups. The express uh, pricing starts at approximately nine US dollars and ground starts at approximately six US dollars. A seller should consider the types of shipments and products they ship as a factor of determining which offering is the best fit. Express is most ideal for shipments that are 20 pounds or less and ground is a fit for shipments weighing 20 pounds or greater. With the ground offering, a seller can consolidate their shipments to send to the hub and save money in doing so for the first mile. This is advantageous when daily shipments are five or greater. When selling on the Walmart Canada marketplace, the seller is the importer of record and must obtain a Canadian business number and register as a non-resident importer. Walmart assists sellers during onboarding with these two requirements, which I know is great news to, to many of you. Accessorials and fees do exist for both programs for certain services as noted. Here we will share a high level view of how the Ship with Walmart program works. So let's dive in. Once a seller is on the Walmart Canada Marketplace and they set up with, with the Ship with Walmart program, they will receive notifications when a shipment has been received. The seller packs the shipments either individually or consolidated if using Ship with Walmart ground. For Express, the orders are picked up from the seller and for ground, the seller ships to one of PureLater's hubs. The carrier prepares the international shipping and customs clearance documentation, and then the shipments are on their way to the customer's destination. The cost of these shipments is deducted from the seller's Canada Marketplace accounts. Duties and taxes are also deducted. In order to utilize Ship with Walmart Ground or Express, an API integration is required. Geek Seller has implemented the API for Ground and Express. A key advantage of utilizing Geek Seller for Ship with Walmart is for this reason. Technical development is not required by the seller uh, if, with the Ship with Walmart program if it's being utilized via Geek Seller. At this time, a seller can only select to use one service though, either Ground or Express. A future enhancement is to have a seller be able to utilize both Ship with Walmart Ground and Express. Ernesto is now going to explain additional features of ship, ship with Walmart, as well as an additional offering for direct returns. Over to you, Ernesto. Thank you, Tracy. A direct return solution is available as an additional offering, which allows returns to be shipped by customers directly to Walmart's return center in Canada. Returns can be liquidated in country or consolidated and shipped back to the US seller facility. Order tracking is provided by the returns carrier to the seller. The customer receives the refund within two business days after the return is received at the return center. This service is optional for a fee. Next slide, please. There are four major steps to get sellers onboarded to ship with Walmart. The first step is an overview of our shipping solutions. We share relevant information to assist sellers understand cross-border shipping requirements, landed costs, customs clearance, and how to create an international shipment. The second step is the signing of agreements and the completion of forms required to clear customs. In this step, as previously mentioned, Walmart assists sellers in the application process to obtain a Canadian business number. After the legal agreements are signed, in step three, Walmart triggers product classification to estimate the import duty rates and determine any import restrictions, regulations, and extra fees. As previously mentioned, Walmart also generates a duty report to assist sellers price their products with duties included. Finally, step four is the setup and configuration of a seller account with Geek Seller to enable order management and shipping. The onboarding process typically takes three to four weeks based on seller turnaround time to sign the agreement, apply for a, class, a Canadian business number, and the product classifications. I want to highlight again key points when selling cross-border with Walmart. The seller is the importer of record. Therefore, 
the seller must pay all duties and taxes when orders are shipped. The customer must not be charged anything upon delivery. The new North America trade agreement that went in effect last July raised the minimum value to impose duties and taxes. Shipping goods up to 40 Canadian dollars are duty and tax free. Goods higher than 40 Canadian dollars and up to 150 are duty free but taxable based on the destination province. Goods with a declared value higher than 150 Canadian are both dutable and taxable. Here is an example on the right. All currency in Canadian. If the product shipped has an import value of 25, there are no duties or taxes. If the order contains a quantity of two, the import value increases to 50, and a tax of $6.50 is charged when shipping to Ontario province, which has a 13% tax. If the order quantity were to be seven, the estimated duty is $17.50 and a tax of 25 and three cents, a 13% tax on import value plus the duty. The same logic is used for multi-line orders shipped in the same box. We're excited for you to take part of our Ship with Walmart offerings. At the end of the presentation, we will provide details how to contact Walmart and Geek Seller. We will immediately follow up with you about getting started with Ship with Walmart so you can be using competitive price offerings in time for the holiday season. Thank you. Now on to James. Thank you, Ernesto, for that explanation on shipping and duty fees, and thanks to the rest of the Walmart Canada panelists. Uh, Geek Seller is a solution for businesses or individual sellers that sell on multiple marketplaces that would like to manage their orders, quantity, and product data from a single platform. In addition to managing orders, quantity, and product data, you can also have access to our highly rated support available via live chat, email, screen share sessions, or by phone. You can also get an advantage by leveraging our years of experience with troubleshooting marketplace issues. I like to say that our support team operates as a tier one support for the many marketplaces that we integrate with. You can also utilize the Geek Seller automation tools to make your e-commerce business run smoother. Next slide, please. Geek Seller offers the ability to easily manage to move marketplace listings from one marketplace to the other. If you're already a seller on Walmart US Marketplace and you're thinking about getting started with Walmart Canada, once you are approved, we can quickly get your listings transferred to Walmart Canada. Next slide, please. Whether you're using a 3PL, a personal warehouse, or a mixture of both, you can use Geek Seller to send quantity to multiple marketplaces from a single warehouse or the combined quantity of multiple warehouses. You also have the added option of adding quantity rules based on marketplace, warehouse, or SKU in order to send a different quantity to a marketplace other than what you have reported in the Geek Seller panel. It's most beneficial uh, when you're wanting to prevent overselling of your products to a certain marketplace. Next slide, please. Geek Seller also offers the ability to purchase labels from within our platform. Uh, integrate with a FedEx, UPS, or Easy Post account in order to purchase shipping labels and print them directly from your orders page. Since Walmart Canada has announced the SWW program, the Ship with Walmart program that we went over earlier, we've also added the option to print your Ship with Walmart Express labels and Express labels or ground labels which one you choose to integrate with directly from within Geek Seller as well. Next slide, please. Here's the contact information to enroll in the Ship with Walmart program if you already sell on Walmart Canada. To find out more or to register for a Geek Seller account, visit our website and drop by our live chat to receive a two week trial account. Again, my name's James and I look forward to working with you and getting your account up and running and assisting in automating your business. And uh, that's it uh, as far as Geek Seller is concerned. Tracy, do you have anything else? 
Uh, we'll open it up now. Um, please use the Q&A uh, chat feature. If you have any questions, we can we can maybe do some some live answering of, of those. Um, I see we have a question here. Can I ship my bottled water? I ship it all over the US with walmart.com. Uh, Janet, Smirti, or Knoll, one of you want to take that? Or Ernesto, I'm sorry. I, I, I was going to respond to that. I was typing my response, but anyway, I, I said it. Well, any any free items, we don't recommend adding any free items as everything that is shipped cross-border needs to be clear custom. So uh, in this case, it's not, not suggested. We don't know. Uh, we were telling sellers that freebies or anything like that to, to avoid that, to, uh, as this may cause issues with uh, customs. All right, uh, next question I see here. How about listing our products from walmart.ca to walmart.com if the seller is managing the door-to-door -door shipping from Canada? I can take that. Uh, so Max, you will have to become a seller, approved seller on walmart.com first if you want to sell your products on walmart.com, which means that you will have to have a US company or a US physical address to be able to do that. Okay, thank you, Kunal. Um, how can I sign up with the USA Walmart if I'm a Canadian? Um, there, there is a, an application process for the U.S. marketplace. Anything you want to add on that, Kanal? Yeah, so uh, thanks for that question, Abhishek. If you go to Walmart U.S. marketplace website, they will have a similar process that we have outlined here for Canada. They do have a seller application, which you can uh, fill out and uh, somebody from their team will respond back to you. As I mentioned earlier, you do need a U.S. address and a U.S. company to be able to sell on Walmart U.S. Marketplace. Thank you, Kunal. The next one uh, we have is how can I get a recording of this presentation? We will be sharing um, this recording after the webinar here in a, in a couple of days. We will be sharing it out via email. So do, do watch for, for follow up from our team. How would the system for a company such as mine that mainly deals with, with custom orders um, Christine, if you could maybe put a little bit more details about um, what type of custom orders, and unless anybody on the line feels they have an answer for this. I'll move on to the next one. Um, oh, custom metal so designs. How would a system work like this for a company such as mine that mainly deals with, with custom metal signs? Um, again, you would still need to apply Yep, uh, Christine, I'll, I'll take that and thanks for that. If it's if it's highly customizable products, uh, you know, marketplaces might not necessarily be the right platform to be selling those products simply because when you upload item information, those are standardized item templates and item information that you upload to sell on on the platform. So there is there isn't a way to do a to and fro information uh, information uh, communication between you and the customer, and hence. Uh, customized products might not be easy to sell on a marketplace. Uh, now, uh, Christine, if your question is directed to Geek Seller, uh, we do help with customized templates on some marketplaces. So if you can uh, drop by our website and contact our chat, uh, we'd love to find out more information from you and see if we'd be able to help you out. Besides obtaining a Canadian business number, is there any other type of registration needed for U.S. sellers to sell in Canada? I'll pass it over to the Can uh, Canada Marketplace team. Yeah, so a Canadian business number is the main requirement. Apart from that, if the product that you want to sell requires specific product certifications or compliance approvals by the Canadian authorities, those are something that you, you might need as well. All right, great. Thank you, Kunal. We understand Walmart Marketplace and Ship with Walmart uh, are, are two different programs. Are we correct? And I would say yes, they're, um, the Ship with Walmart is set up to support your, your business on the Walmart Canada Marketplace. Uh, both programs do require uh, steps in, in onboarding and application. Anything to, uh, and to add from, from other folks on the line? Okay. Can we use other carriers other than ship with Walmart? And the answer to this one is, is yes. Um, I will turn over to the Canada Marketplace to, to add any additional comments about uh, shipping carriers other than ship with Walmart. 
Yeah, shipping is uh, completely the seller's prerogative. You can choose your carrier or a warehousing company that suits your business needs. Um, we have a response. Uh, I used this link yesterday and it would allow me to register with my social security number. I was told I have to fax in a request to have my business number established. Is there an easier way? Vanessa, do you think we can connect, connect uh, Shanta to Livingston? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. So we'll, we'll, we'll connect with you, Shanta, after the call. If I'm Canadian and wanted to sell on Walmart USA, can I get a LLC in USA and sign up with walmart.com? I believe that's the start of the process. So Walmart US, of course, have their, uh, they have their own approval process in terms of their business criteria and, uh, and uh, compliance related criteria. Uh, I would suggest you check their website for more details. Okay. Do we require a separate website for Canada Marketplace through you or can we use our existing website? Over to Canada. So if, you, if you're looking to sell your products on walmart.ca uh, during the onboarding process, we will give you access to a platform called Seller Center. That's where you upload your item information, your pricing and your shipping information. And that is what is visible on walmart.ca to the customers. Whenever you receive an order, that order is processed through Seller Center as well. Okay. When will video be available for Walmart listings? Over to the Canada team. That is, uh, that is, not, that is not immediately on the agenda for us, uh, but we will definitely take this feedback and uh, see if we can get this going soon. That's great. Thank you. How much are you charging for advertising in Walmart CA, like the daily deals, carousels, et cetera? Janet, you want to take that one? Hi, thanks for the question. At this time, it is actually really, um, there's no charge at this point in terms of the way that we are going to market. Obviously, there are different parts of our site that's monetized. This is not something that we have monetized as yet. So inclusion in this is at this point, uh, no charge. But like I'm I sure. said, there are certain KPIs that we look for for inclusion in different areas, which could be explained uh, based on the, on the area of the site that we want to optimize. I'm sure that's exciting news to, to that group. Thank you, Janet. Um, is it compulsory to register with Geek Seller in order to sell on Walmart Canada? Thanks. And uh, I'll let you answer that, uh, Canada team. No, it is not compulsory to register with Geek Seller. Of course, uh, the Geek Seller platform provides a lot of features which would make it easier for you to sell on the platform, uh, including the integration with Ship with Walmart. But that is, uh, of course, completely a prerogative uh, on whether you want to use Geek Seller or do you want to directly upload, uh, upload your items to Seller Center. Great, thank you. Do we have to register Payoneer to receive payments and what's the fee per transaction? Over to the Canada team. Yeah, Payoneer is uh, our only payments partner as of today. You will have to, during the onboarding process, you will have to create an account with Payoneer if you don't have one already. I would, uh, we would share the help pages for more details for fees per transaction. Great, thank you. If you are already a seller on Amazon FBA, is there a way to directly import those listings to Walmart Marketplace? Um, Let's hand over first to, to Geek Seller to talk a little bit about their product, and then um, we'll take it over to the uh, Canada Marketplace team. Uh, yes, Zeb, uh, that is possible. Uh, I would like you to reach out to our support to see if we'd be able to help you. There may be some information that you will still need to fill in uh, just because certain categories within Walmart are different than Amazon and things like that. Uh, also, the descriptions, you need to translate it to French and everything like that, but we will be able to assist in that. Uh, and now uh, Walmart Canada, y'all have anything else to add? Kanal, Janet, anything else to add on, on transporting the, the listings from Amazon? Yeah, it's on think, our tech, oh, go ahead, Kanal. Yes, I think as, as uh, Janet was about to say, we're working, on, we're working on something similar to make it easier for our seller partners to, to be able to do this. Currently, Currently, no, there is no direct way, so you will have to upload your items either through an API integration or through Excel Sheets. 
Okay, great. And then um, last question here is, can you please uh, compare your Walmart sellers program to any existing program to understand your program better? Um, Ernesto, it, it, I would say it might be good to, to set up a call with that seller to, to go through, or is there anything in particular you'd like to touch on? Yeah, if, if, if this is uh, the question is re with regards to our shipping program, definitely we can <clears throat> provide some information and, and on the different options and give you some uh, rates and additional fees. And so you can compare that with, uh, uh, if you have your own carrier, you can compare that and decide uh, if this is uh, something that uh, meets uh, your cost goals. Okay, great. So, so for anyone that, that does have some of those more specific questions around uh, pricing and such, definitely uh, use this uh, email that you see here on the screen, the marketplace develop at walmart.com to reach out and we can set some time up. All right. Um, do you have any restrictions for fill, filling orders from FBA warehouses? You want to hand that one over to the Canada team? Yes, we do not allow fulfillment from uh, uh, Amazon warehouses. It is asking us to provide the U.S. tax ID when signing up as a Canadian company. Do we need to apply for this or Canadian business number is all we need? And no. um, go ahead, Kanal. I'll take that. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, Canadian business number is all you need. You do not need a U.S. tax ID if you're not a U.S. seller. Of course, if you are based out of U.S. and we do allow international sellers as well, you can share your U.S. tax ID, but business, uh, Canadian business number is a mandatory requirement. All right. It looks like we then have, have answered all the, the questions that have come in through uh, q and A. I'm just going to check real quick. I see um, chat to make sure there wasn't anything we missed over there. I see a question from Liliana, Tracy. Okay. Um, is, Walmart. Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry for that. Uh, her question is, is Walmart Canada planning to offer audit services for marketplace sellers? Not immediately. Uh, the first step is we are, we are looking to partner with a few shipping and warehousing companies based out here in Canada that can work with, with our sellers and provide provide preferred shipping shipping rates for our sellers. That's the first step and you should be hearing uh, about that program soon. All right. Um, printing services. Uh, I try to, I try to talk to, on the printing services. Um, I, I think we probably need a little bit more uh, of a question there to be able to answer. So I'll, I'll go on to the next one. I tried to talk to my Walmart Canada account manager and have not received a response. Um, we can definitely take that information if you'll reach out um, using this market, uh, reach, reach out um, here to the marketplace com at walmart.com and uh, we can definitely take a follow up. I'd like to get yeah, you connected. Actually, Tracy, um, you can go ahead and just email me directly. Um, at Jana.Cameron.com. Uh, I don't want to hear that we, we're not getting back to you, so let me take care of you. I'll put my email in the chat for you. All right. All right. I think, I think that there are some questions. I'm looking at the chat, uh, Tracy. Yeah. I don't know if we responded a question from uh, Sean. Do, how do I reach out? to transfer my US listing to, or is this done automatically? Uh, did, did we respond to this question? Uh, yes, I responded to that question. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you could do that via Geek Seller. Uh, I just recommend reaching out to our support uh, via our live chat on our website, and I provided a link, uh, and that would be the best way to do that. But that's definitely something that we can do for okay. you. Yeah, it looks like I scrolling back yeah. up. I do see Laura um, asked, um, are sellers limited to a thousand SKUs or is it unlimited after approval? Are there any any SKU limits? I'll pass it over to the Canada team. At this point, uh, it's Janet. Um, at this point, we are we automatically launch all seller partners with a thousand. And yes, you are able to go past a thousand. We're going into our business season. So what we're looking for right now are seasonally relevant products, typically there's not a SKU cap, but we just want to ensure that we're able to service all our, our customers um, at the best 
time of the year for all of us um, on the platform. So if, if you join now, you'd be limited to 1,000 initially. Working with your key account manager, we could exceed that number, but initially your launch, your launch uh, SKU cap would be 1,000, regardless of the category. Uh, from the geek seller side, there uh, is no SKU cap. Uh, there is for Walmart Canada, but if you wanted to sign up with geek seller, you could have uh, up to a few million SKUs. There's really no upper limit. Okay. All right, great. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. Again, um, this is going to conclude our, our presentation and we will be following up post uh, webinar to provide you the the recording for this session. Uh, really do appreciate everyone taking the time and the great questions and interactions. And we look forward to hearing from you uh, again. Uh, feel free to reach out using the vehicles you hear you see here on on screen. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great day.